big news from the world of Pizza Hut and SpongeBob. Yes, they have worked together on another collaboration. You all remember last time they teamed up in an unholy union, they created this uh, pineapple-based sauce, this chili jalapeno sauce. It had some dumb name, I can't remember it, but it was this yellow drizzle over a pizza. Uh, you can find all about it here. I did check it out last time, it was Something decent. Anyway, uh, they have teamed up once again, and they're bringing back this pizza and the sauce, and they're also bringing out a Fanta pineapple, which is, you know, not really a Pizza Hut item, but anyway. They're also bringing out something unprecedented, something crazy, SpongeBob-inspired ice creams. Now there's two, there is the SpongeBob, which is uh, pineapple and coconut, apparently, and there is the Patrick, ice cream, which is dill pickle, yes, dill pickle, mustard, and bacon bits. Now, it's based off of a scene in the cartoon dill itself, where Spongebob turned down the bits. dill pickle, Patrick, mustard, and bacon bit ice cream, because uh, his favorite ice cream is vanilla, oh. and that's Patrick's favorite well, ice cream. Ice is it any good? Is it fit for human consumption, even? I don't know. I'm dead keen. I'm here to find out. Let's check it out. Oh. Alrighty, I'm back from Pizza Hut with my SpongeBob inspired ice creams. Yes, very interesting. Let's take a look. I will look at the uh, the SpongeBob one first of all, the pineapple surprise. Let's uh, let's give this a go. Let's see if I can open it here. Oh god. There we go. A very uh, SpongeBob shade of yellow there. Now I did uh, I did bring my own spoon. I'm no uh, no stranger to this. Let's give this a go. Alrighty. Mm, okay, so it's fairly soft. Fairly soft. Looks uh, looks decent there. It looks lemony, but anyway, what does it taste like? Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Um. I'll give that a bit more of a go. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. I would say the ice cream itself, like the, the milk and sugar component, is really nice. That's a really creamy ice cream there, and um, it's like really well made. But the flavor, I gotta say, it's overwhelmingly coconut, and that fake sort of coconut flavor, but then it is like, interestingly, I, I can't kind of stop eating this. This is, okay, this is good. This is good. If you like fake coconut flavor, you will love this. If you're not a fan of uh, that coconut flavor, you won't like it at all. I really cannot taste much pineapple. Well, the ingredients here, I don't know that they've got any like real pineapple or coconut in it. It is just like natural flavors and vegetable gums and whatnot. It's not like the most natural tasting ice cream, but then again, if you're getting SpongeBob ice cream, are you expecting something natural? Probably not. I don't know, I, I do like this. I, I will finish off this tub eventually. I won't just toss this out. But I probably would not be buying it again. Not bad though. Not bad though. As I said, very coconutty. Very coconutty. Anyway, this is uh, this is what we all want to see: the dill pickle mustard swirl. This one does seem very interesting. And on the ingredients here, it does indeed contain dill pickle ripple. What dill pickle ripple? Yeah, it contains dill pickles. Wow. And bacon bits, and mustard. So this this is the real deal. This is the real deal. But you know, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Who knows? Let's have a look. There we go. So, it looks pretty unassuming there. Although you can see like some... Is that a, a hint of dill there? Hmm. Wow, this is really, uh, really interesting. But anyway, it looks alright, but what does it taste like? Let's have a go. Alright, can't smell it. Can't smell it. Let's just get stuck into it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it's definitely 
sweet. You can see bits and pieces of stuff in there. It is not immediately offensive, that's for sure. Wow. There's a... Uh, I don't know if you can see that dill pickle there. Hmm. Um, yeah, that bit wasn't bad. Yeah, this the straight dill pickle, it's not bad. They've somehow, like, sweetened it up. It's not very sour at all. I would have expected it to be quite sour and dill-flavored, really, but, um, can't taste that much at all. Hmm. I don't know, it does take on this kind of, like, sweet, sour aspect, kind of like, like a Sour Patch Kid sort of thing. So it's, it's not bad. Like you think of uh, vinegar and ice cream, that sounds horrible. But you think of, you know, strong citric acid and sugar, that's not a bad combination. People have that a lot. And that's, it's more, it's more that combination than, you know, vinegar and milk. Doesn't really taste like that at all. Mmm. I'll, uh, so that's, that's the bacon bit there, which is a, a bit gross. I do apologize, but, um. I don't know. I don't know if that's real bacon. That definitely tastes like bacon when it's just by itself and it's just a bit salty there. This doesn't have the chunks that I was expecting. It's interesting, the more I eat, it does take on this green-ish sort of hue there. Again, I'm not sure the lighting is great. It might be a bit more yellow than green on the camera there. But this is not at all unreasonable. It has this interesting bacon aftertaste. And yeah, I probably would not have guessed dill pickle to start off with. It really does taste a lot more like a Sour Patch gummy than dill pickle. So, I don't know if uh, dill pickle fans will be disappointed with that. But, um, you know, ice cream fans, I think, I think we'll enjoy this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And like the, uh, the actually, to be honest, I prefer this to the, uh, to the Spongebob coconut one. It's mainly coconut, that one. I'm not a huge fan. Of coconut but this is good I think they should have added maybe more bacon bits because I do like a little bit of texture and crunch in my ice cream but that is a personal preference and the, the bacon is an interesting little like salty sort of uh, crunch there so definitely interesting stuff now both of them they were 10.95 each I actually, I don't buy tubs of ice cream that much, so I don't know if that's a good price or not. Seems all right for some, you know, SpongeBob themed stuff. For SpongeBob fans, that is a must. I do like the packaging. Actually, if you are a big fan of SpongeBob, you would have to uh, buy it purely based on the packaging. And um, yeah, I I quite enjoyed that. That was uh, not bad at all. So well done, Pizza Hut. Um, and yes, I should also point out it is made by. Everest ice cream now Pizza Hut seem to have a deal with Everest ice cream. They sell their ice cream in store So the ice cream manufacturers definitely know what they're doing there as well. So yeah, look that was uh, that was really not bad Definitely worth a try next time you are at Pizza Hut. So there we go. Many thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. Cheers Yeah, this this one is strangely alluring it does have an allure Hmm.